Martin the Michelis can only watch in awe. He takes a few steps forward, cautiously eyeing Thomas Muller, but it becomes evident that the German forward won't be involved in the play. Instead, it's Germany's left winger, Andre Schürrle, who charges down the flank and delivers a cross, despite the close attention of Javier Mascherano and Pablo Zabaleta. The cross arcs over the Michelis's head, and in that moment, he realizes that Mario Godse stands unmarked just a few yards away from the Argentine goal. Godse, the 22-year-old attacker, displays exquisite control as he cushions the ball on his chest. With no other options in sight, he decides to take a chance and lashes his left foot at the ball. The shot soars past Sergio Romero, and in that instant, the name Mario Godse is forever etched in World Cup history. Not only has he clinched the tournament for his country in extra time, but he has also showcased his brilliance, outshining even Lionel Messi. At just 22, Mario Godse won the Bundesliga three times and was hailed as a boy wonder, but despite his immense talent, injuries and challenges prevented his career from reaching its full potential. His journey serves as a reminder of football's unpredictability. He is 31 years old and should be at his peak. So, what happened to Germany's miracle boy after his heroics in the Maracana? Far from achieving the status of eternal legend, Gotze entered a downfall spiral in his career. Godse's first season in the Allianz Arena suggested he may have been right after all. In 27 league games, he scored 10 goals, equaling his single season best at BVB, and registered 9 assists to earn the first of his three successive Bundesliga titles in the iconic red shirt. Godse remained at Bayern Munich for two more seasons after that World Cup and the glowing endorsements from his national team boss, but this is the point that his upward trajectory took a turn. While he did bag 15 goals in the 2014-15 season, he was in and out of the lineup and struggled for consistency. He wasn't showing the world he was better than Messi, as the Argentinian scored 58 goals for Barcelona during that period. Initially, the 2014-15 season started promisingly, but then tailed off dramatically. A flurry of seven goals and two assists in just nine league appearances before December boded well. But only further two goals and two assists followed with Godse's form inexplicably deserting him even if Guardiola kept faith. While 15 goals would often be seen as a perfectly fine return for most midfielders, more was expected for Godse, particularly when he was turning out for a club like Bayern Munich. Few people doubted that, but with ferocious competition for places from the likes of Frank Ribéry, Arjen Robben, and Thomas Muller, the 2015-16 campaign saw Godse slide out of the first-team picture at Bayern as he proved simply unable to exploit his talent. A hamstring injury that forced him to miss 13 league games between October and February did not help, but already at the start of the campaign, Guardiola had only brought Godse off of the bench late in the Super Cup game with Wolfsburg. He just stops moving when he loses a duel. This is the behavior of a child, said Bayern Munich legend Franz Beckenbauer. Something was missing. Godse would last just one more season at Bayern following those Beckenbauer comments and constant criticism about his fitness levels. Throughout the 2015-16 campaign, he only featured 21 times in all competitions and scored just six goals. In July 2016, he rejoined Borussia Dortmund, the team that had originally made him into a star, in an attempt to find the missing ingredient his play had lacked for the last couple of seasons. But the prodigal son was unwanted by his new boss, Thomas Tuchel. Though there were moments of joy for Godse, there were only a few in the yellow and black. Godse was more of a bench warmer than a starter at Dortmund. Once again, it was an inconsistent start, with the occasional flashes that reminded everyone of the talent he had. But in February 2017 came the hammer blow and the realization that there was indeed something missing for Godse. It just came in a matter that no one really anticipated. The following month, he was diagnosed with myopathy, a muscular disorder that affects the fibers in the muscles. It also causes weakness and rapid fatigue in the muscles, which is particularly hard for an athlete as it can delay the recovery period needed. Godse had been criticized for his fitness and his overweight appearance for so long. Now everyone realized that there was a perfectly valid reason that had never been considered. Just like that, the attitude shifted from Godse being a gifted youngster with no appetite to work hard. Now he was the boy wonder, whose gifts were being robbed by an underlying health condition. Just a few days ago, Borussia Dortmund announced that Godse would be leaving the club once his contract expired. His last appearance for the team was in a 1-0 defeat against Bayern Munich, three days later after his decision to leave. Muscle injuries became a frequent theme in Godse's career with a problem with his metabolism the root cause. 
The best of Godse was never to be seen again. His body wasn't working. His mind wasn't working. That led him to take a step back in 2020. And following his move to PSV, everything changed. It took him three months to find a new club. On 6th of October 2020, Godse joined PSV on a free transfer, signing a two-year deal. Godse scored on his PSV debut, a 3-0 away win at PEC Chevrolet on 18th of October. His two-year spell at PSV helped restore his reputation, but he may have done that at Bayern, who had considered re-signing him before he left for the Netherlands. As time went by, he regretted not accepting Klopp's offer to join Liverpool, but he has since made peace with that decision. His performances for PSV convinced Europa League winners Frankfurt he could reinforce their squad for this season's UEFA Champions League challenge. But he scored only three goals in his 32 appearances for the club. Flick, meanwhile, clearly has not forgotten about Godse either, naming him in the 2022 World Cup squad to end half a decade in the international wilderness for Germany's 2014 hero. The selection was met with surprise, as it marked his return to the national side after five years. In the end, Mario Gotze's journey stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of football. From his early triumphs and being hailed as a boy wonder, to the challenges that followed, his career took unexpected turns. Injuries and health issues may have hindered his progress, but Gotze's legacy remains firmly etched in football history. While he might not have reached the heights some envisioned, his moments of brilliance and his unforgettable World Cup winning goal in 2014 have left an indelible mark on the sport. Mario Gotze will forever be remembered remembered as a player who defied expectations and showcased moments of pure magic on the pitch. As he continues his journey, we wish him success and happiness in all his future endeavours. And let us never forget that in football, as in life, every chapter, including the downfall, contributes to a story that will be remembered for generations to come.